All right, this is the scores and thoughts for the wild card playoffs. Um, wild card weekend, 2010. Uh, it's not going to go 2011, but you get my point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each game in a little bit more in depth than the usual scores and thoughts videos. Because the normal scores and thoughts videos, I have to do 16 games. Or, yeah, 16 games. This time, I have to do four. So that's obviously a lot less. We'll start with the biggest upset of the week. Seahawks beat the Saints 41-36. to Now, I know football, okay? And I watch football a lot. Can someone please explain to me how the 7-9 Seahawks beat the defending Super Bowl champions? I guess it could have been down to the fact that the Seahawks could take advantage of a Saints secondary that's substandard. But still... I expected the C the Saints to roll into Seattle, roll into Quest Field, and jump out on the Seahawks early and win by 30. Early 30, early 30. Okay, that's not the point. I honestly did not... Hold on. There we go. I honestly did not expect the Seahawks to not only stay in the game, but win the game. Which leads me to believe that maybe the Seahawks are are destined. I don't know. Maybe the Seahawks are destined. Who knows? We'll see. Only time will sell. I hope this. I, I'm now starting to think that the Seahawks are going to win the Super Bowl. In which, in that case, I will have to start preparing to eat one of my decoys and eat the box it came in. I'm going to have to pick out which part of the box is nice to eat. And I'm not backing off that shit because I'm actually going to do it. Anyways, Jets beat the Colts 17-16. to This was actually a very interesting game here. Um, it was a very interesting game. I really enjoyed this game. I wanted the Colts to win, to be honest, but it's sort of a back-and-forth game. It wasn't really, wasn't really as high-action-packed as the Seahawks and Saints game was. Or as much as the other games were, to be quite honest. But Jets-Colts was actually very, fairly interesting. It was mainly a punt fest for the first quarter and a half. And then Indy scored, and then Jets tied it up. Indy took the lead, and then Jets took the lead in the fourth quarter. Colts took the lead back, and then the Jets got the win after Jim Caldwell mistakenly called a timeout for no fucking reason. But there you go. Still good win by the Jets. Now we'll see them get cremated by the Patriots. Ravens beat the Chiefs 30-7. to <clears throat> um, I don't know. I This game really wasn't much of a challenge cause, for the Ravens. Because the Chiefs are not a playoff. The Chiefs have not been a playoff team in the last few years. They finally have a playoff team. And then the, the playoff team they get... Ends up getting bowed out in the first round because they just uh, they just cannot do anything against the Ravens. The Ravens' running game pounded them into the dirt. The Ravens' defense destroyed the offense and just as a tro it it just was not good. The case the Chiefs led at the beginning of the game, but then they let 27 unanswered points go through and they ended up losing by by 23. So. I can't help you with that, but it was a very interesting game, sort of, for the first, like, quarter. Then after that, it just became, like, what the hell am I watching? But in any case, good win by the Ravens. Now we'll see them in the rematch against the Steelers. And finally, Packers beat the Eagles 21-16. to This game was fairly interesting. Um, I wanted to see the Eagles win because I wanted to see the um, I wanted to see the uh, Mike Vick get a Super Bowl run possibly. I wanted to see Mike Vick get a Super Bowl run possibly, but he didn't end up doing it because he threw a pick late in the game. But not that there's anything wrong with the Packers. I know a guy that is a Packers fan, Jonathan Smathers. If you're watching this video, I'm giving you a shout out. Um, Although it must be said, I wanted to see the Packers win because I wanted to see Vic do well in the playoffs. But unfortunately, that just didn't end up working out. So, whatever the case, 
good win by the Packers. Um, so I that wasn't actually as in depth as I wanted to go in, but they're gonna keep this short and simple a little bit because I don't want this thing to screw up on me. So that is the scores and thoughts video for the wild card division and or the wild card now for the divisional preview. Uh, for the divisional preview, we've got Ravens Steelers in the rematch of that division, Packers Falcons in the rematch of the uh, Thursday night football game. You got the Seahawks Bears. Do not underestimate the Seahawks. They have a chance to win this game. Trust me. If they can beat the defending Super Bowl champs, they can beat the Bears. And Jets Patriots in a battle in that division. So two division rematches. For the first time in in history, I think. And on the other side of the NFC, we've got some interesting games. So that's it for the scores and thoughts video. A quick one for week for the wild card playoffs. Um, we'll be back. And I'll be back next week for the divisional round. And that's it. Holla, your boy. Peace.